I'm Dave Edelman. I am the co-leader for McKinsey's digital marketing strategy practice. And I have spent many years working on both the agency side as well as the consulting side with companies who are trying to figure out how to move their center of gravity to be more data-driven, more digital, more aware of how all of the interactions that they're having with consumers can actually create the basis for information that they can use, for branding opportunities that they have, and ways they can transform their whole company to be more customer responsive. And what I'd like to share with you are some thoughts, not about cool things that you can do in digital. It's not going to be about the latest social media thing, but it is going to be about what does it mean to really move the heart of a company to be more innately digitally savvy. And I work with CMOs from all different industries uh, across the world, actually. And the first thing that they start to talk about when digital marketing becomes the major topic is that it's all about more. More channels, more data, more things to put in that media mix model. But the reality is their budgets aren't necessarily getting any bigger. And so what happens is that marketing budgets start to get spread like peanut butter over more and more and more things without really a lot of thought about whether or not it's not about more, but about acting completely differently, to borrow a phrase from some of Apple's early advertising. And what we have found is that companies need to have a whole different framework for how to think about their strategy and their planning. They need to think about new roles in terms of the way their organization operates, new processes and new measures. And I'd like to share some thinking that we have published in a number of places, including recently there was an article in the Harvard Business Review, about how we're thinking about the new consumer decision journey and what that means for the changes marketers have to go through. So I'm going to share first just what is this notion of the consumer decision journey. It's not rocket science, but just frame how we're talking about it. Go through how it changes the way you think about marketing, planning, and frankly, strategy overall. But then get into the heart of what does it really take to transform the way you operate if you really believe that the way consumers are making purchase decisions is fundamentally changing. I think all of us grew up at a time, or at least many of us, uh, when in the business schools the heart of how marketing strategy was taught was the funnel. Going from awareness, familiarity, well, awareness, consideration, familiarity, purchase, or various orders of that. But basically a notion that you're driving somebody down through a funnel towards a purchase decision. That it's a reductive process. That more people will start at the beginning, fewer people will end up at the end. That more brands start at the beginning and fewer brands start at the end. And that it's a very linear process that marketers are trying to push the consumer through. And all of the ways that budgeting and planning and the way campaigns are organized, the way CRM is managed is often to push people through that funnel. And what we've found through research in dozens of categories, looking at how people really make purchase decisions, how they experience brands, how they think about overall where they want to engage and where they don't, it's not a funnel. And in fact, not only is it not a funnel, it's not something that the marketer can push somebody through. I think it's become a cliche that the consumer is in control. But do you really flip that around when you're thinking about how to align your planning? And what we would say is you need to. And you need to think about a consumer decision journey that's about the consumer making decisions and taking steps. And the role of the marketer is to help them through that journey help them figure out what they need, and help them get to the next step. And let me just walk through the different stages. Like I said before, this isn't rocket science, but it is a way that actually shifts the perspective of where budgeting and planning should be done. 
Consumers start with some type of consideration of whether or not they even want to get engaged in a category. Do they really want to buy a television? Do they really need a refill on their skin care? Then they are likely to go through some kind of evaluation. Go online, talk to people, go into a store, look at things, collect information, get the data, make sure they're feeling confident about their decision and understanding what's right for them and are they getting good value. Then they go to buy. They may buy online, they may buy in the store. Once they purchase it, they experience the product, they experience the range of services that might be around that product, the support that may be provided. If that experience goes well, if they like the product, they may advocate on behalf of that, which is something that most marketers haven't as explicitly built into the way they're thinking about strategy because now consumers are putting ratings and reviews and they're talking about brands all over online. And people have always done word of mouth. And of course now with social media and all the ability for people to voice their opinions, what one person advocates becomes the fodder for another person's evaluation. And then if they feel like the brand is something they want to get more involved in, they're going to bond with that and buy more and extend their relationship with the brand, building a loyalty loop that prevents them from going around and considering and evaluating a whole bunch of other brands. And so it's very straightforward. This isn't you know, terribly complicated. But the question is, from a marketer's perspective, are you really aligning what you're doing to this kind of model of the way consumers are now making decisions and giving the opportunity for consumers to help other people make those decisions. And there's some pretty important differences in what the consumer decision journey implies than what the marketing funnel has often tried to get people to think about. That the funnel was a reductive process where consumers were basically brought down to a single choice. And what we're finding actually, and I'll show you some data in a moment, is that actually brands are coming in and out all along. So even if you weren't the heavily advertised brand that was in the initial consideration set, there are many other opportunities to get into the consumer's mind and be part of the journey. The other thing is that the funnel is linear and it's reductive and it basically drives to purchase. But consumers are going all over the place. They go into stores, they come back out, they talk to people. It's not a linear process. It's constantly being shaped. There's constantly more information. And there's many different places you need to be if you want to intersect with the consumer when they're at a given stage in their decision journey.